Let's take a hypothetical situation in which suppose you were born in the year 2000 and you did not get any pocket money till the year 2009. After that you started asking your parents for some pocket money and then they thought about it and then from the year 2010 they started giving you rupees 100 as pocket money. Then in the next year, say 2011, you got 200 as pocket money. And then in the next year, 2012, you got 300 as pocket money. And then it, it started increasing by 100 every year. Can you plot this data on a graph paper? Well, let's see. Well, we have made this graph. Now let's start plotting. See what is the scale we have taken. On x-axis, we have taken 1 centimeter is 1 year. You can see, if this is 2000, we will mark this as 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004. I'm shortening this as 05, 06, 07, 08. 09, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015. Okay? And see what we have taken in y-axis. 2 cm is 100 rupees. So this is 1 and 2. 2 cm. This is 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 and 600. But well, isn't it looking very clumsy? And as we all know, you have not got any pocket money from the year 2000 to 2009. So all these years, you have no pocket money. So why am I even writing these years on the graph line? I should not write that. I may have started it from 2010 till 2015. That would make my graph look neater. But then if I do that and skip the years, say 2001 to 2009, I skip these years and write the graph from 2010. Won't it be wrong as we have to keep the scale as equidistant? We could do as like 2000 and then start it directly from 2010, 2011. 2012 and so on but then it will not be equidistant and it is important to keep the scale equidistant here you can see that this is equidistant as there is a gap of one year only but this is not equidistant as there is a gap of nine years in between so can we do something for this see do you notice this here well, this is known as the kink. Now, what is this kink? Well, this symbol is used so that you can show that there is some data here which is missing. So, we are not plotting the years from 2000 to 2009. After which, we are showing 2010, 2011 and so on. Now, even doing, after doing this, you can see that we have changed the scale also. First, we were taking the scale as 1 cm is 1 year, which was making it very clumsy. Now you can see we have taken 2 cm as 1 year. See, after the kink, we have started it with 2010, then 1 cm, 2 cm, and then 2011, and so on. So this is making our graph look neat. So using this kink will make your graph look neat as well as you don't have to make so many years in between for whose data it's not given or is not mentioned in the sum. So now let's start plotting. Well, you got rupees 100 in 2010. So plot that. Then you got 200 in 2011. Then 300 in 2012. 400 in 2013, 500 in 2014, 
and so on like 600 in 2015. So we have successfully plotted these points. It looks something like this. Now from the graph you can say that each year your pocket money has increased by rupees 100. So now you know the usefulness of this kink. This kink helps us to avoid writing the years which data, of which data is not given. Okay, let's see this problem. Here, height of students is given in centimeter and number of students is given. Like eight students are having the height 130 centimeter, three students are having height as 140 centimeter, 10 students having height as 150, six students having as 160 and one student having as 170. Well, I know you can plot this data very easily on the graph. Now, my question to you is, where would you put the kink in this sum? Well, where do we put the kink? Where we have not been given the data of some time or some years or any data which is missing. So, where do you think data is missing here? Well, let's start with checking on the y-axis. This is the y-axis. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on as number of students. So no data is missing over here. Now what about x-axis? This is height given in centimeter. Now, notice something that is the scale equidistant here? What is the scale here? You can see that 2 cm represents 10 cm in height. Now, what about this? Well, you can see that the difference between 0 and 130 is great as like 130 cm. So only this 2 cm box is representing 130 cm. So this is where we have to put the kink because some data is missing over here. So we put the kink here. This will make your graph 